Hi everyone. Carol's here. I'm going to do a string pull today. I haven't done one in a long time, so I hope I'm up to it. I'm just going to try a few different things. So I've covered my canvas in white paint. It's a mixture of house paint and Floetrol. I'm going to do some uh, red and gold. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to dip my paint in the red. Sorry, dip my string in the red. I'll get a stick. You can see. I know I don't have a lot of red in here, but I'll put some more in. This is a Dollar Rowney Crimson. So I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to take my stick, I'm not sure if you can see this, and just run it so that it's not a big globs of paint on there. And try this. And I've dampened my string a little bit first just so that it moves a little better on the canvas. Oops. Oh, that's where it's going. I meant for it to go up higher. See what happens. I hope there's enough paint on there. Oh, now I got too much. I think I'm out of practice with this string stuff. Or else I'm getting tired. Okay. If this doesn't work, I'll just try something different. I'm going to just pull this. Came out different than I expected. I think I'm using. Oh, I gotta go over that one again. can do this one again. Did I put, I didn't even put any silicone in this. I was going to. Interesting. I'm going to go over my other one too. This is 
something I seen somebody else do. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I should have watched the video again. Maybe I have to lift the string up. It was my sister, Diane King. She uh, is dropping paint. There. I think I'm supposed to use a crochet hook, but a smaller one. Okay, well, those two don't look bad. If I can get two more, then I'm going to do some flowers in the middle. So yeah, check out Diane King. She's uh, called, her, her YouTube channel is called Dropping Paint. She does some pretty cool um, string poles. I like them. She's been practicing. I haven't. And my sister Susan King, Susan King's art. She does them also. I have two sisters that have a YouTube channel. And we're all doing paint pouring because we love it. See how this one goes. I missed it, missed a spot. Just take the paint off with your fingers or a rag, stick it back in, and do it again. I like the lacing. I never expected that. I wonder if, it, if it's the type of paint. I'm going to have to find a better crochet hook. I'll try my knitting needle. Oh, that's okay. I'll do one more. It's a little bit different because you're not just pulling one string one way. You're pulling, pulling it in a different direction, so you sort of have to drag it. The trick is to get a hold of it and then pull it, which this is a little bit too thick, this hook. I need a smaller one. I couldn't find my small ones. I've moved and I haven't crocheted since I started this painting. So my crochet hooks are hidden away somewhere. I have to find them. I could only find one today. Anyway. All right, so now I'm going to get some 
longer string. Cut some. Maybe two and a half times the length of that. I'm going to do a couple. I guess I should have done this first. This is just cotton. Cotton string. Comes in a ball. You can buy it at the grocery store or Walmart. All right, now let me try and do I'm going to do a gold one. Oh, I was going to wet these first, wasn't I? So they work better if they're a little bit damp. So usually I just take them in my hand, squirt some water on them, let it soak in a bit, and they're damp enough. Take one out. Stick it in the gold paint or whatever color paint you're using. Let's put some more in here. Sure it's all soaked really well and then just take your stick and let it pull it against your stick just so that there's not a ton of paint on your string this is pretty long I'm just gonna do the windy one just let it sit for a minute I think I can get rid of this Just pull straight down. Could have had maybe a little more paint, but it's fine. Oh, the gold's pretty. I'll do three gold ones. Or should I do, oh, I'll do three gold ones. Or should I do a red one? No. I'll do the gold in the background because it's easier to put red on top of gold than gold on top of red. I think. Squirt some more paint in there. Same thing again. Sure, it's all covered. This one, I guess, could be smaller.
I don't want to wreck that pretty red one there. Got to make sure that the everything is laying down. A one sided one, but more paint. Do one more. So I don't need to stick it all in so far. Just jabbing it all in there. These are fairly light. I didn't realize I was going to get all that lacing. It must be the flow trawl that's in the base paint because there's no silicone in there. paint sinks a little bit too. That's okay. Looks pretty. Maybe I'll do a couple of red ones on top. I think I just need smaller pieces. So it's dry, I need to wet, dampen it a bit. Just in my hand.
have a lot of a lot of paint on this canvas. See, it's not bending the way I want it. It's because it wasn't wet enough. really sinks into that white. I'll do one in the front. I just wiped it off with my fingers. I don't have a lot of paint left in here, but there's enough. There's enough to cover this last string. You get the idea anyway. Maybe if my paint was a little bit thinner on the bottom, it wouldn't, uh, it puddles over. Covers up the flower. pulling oh it's kind of cute it's kind of pretty I don't think I'm going to do any more. I think I'm done. There, you can try with all different colors. I just did this sort of make a frame around it. It's kind of cool. All right, we'll see how this dries. I'm going to hold it up for you. Maybe I can turn it this way now. I know it was upside down, but what can I do? There you go. My turntable won't sit on here. I'm going to have to, if I want to use it next time, I'm going to have to take this off because it's bumpy underneath and it won't sit level. All right, well, have a great day. Come back soon to Carol's Art Room. Bye-bye, everyone. So I came down to see my dried painting. My string pull. Dried good. Very good. Give you a close up. See how smooth that is? Very smooth. And I used house paint and Floetrol for the background. And I'm happy with that. And there you go. The dried results. Alright, come back soon. Bye-bye.